Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. This is Flippin' Friday. Um, this one is really fun and I am just going to wing it. Um, get this book out of the way. This is an accordion, what did I call it? Accordion strip pocket because basically we're going to use a couple of strips that have been left over and we're going to use our scoreboard so um, let me find my score tool get my glue out of the way where does that thing runs off all the time all right so basically it doesn't matter what size it doesn't matter where you score uh, but you're going to accordion fold it at random intervals to make kind of a uh, either a floating pocket or you could attach it to a page. So I'm going to try, I'm going to start with one inch here and I'm going to do it at four. This is uh, four by five. Okay. So that gives me a fold here. All right. So then I think I'm going to come over from there two inches. So two inches is going to be a four. So that's not very long. This is a shorter piece of paper, but basically, uh, I have a piece then you know what I'm gonna do because this is a shorter piece I'm gonna I'm gonna do the one here and this paper I probably will not purchase again not my favorite but there again if this was double-sided how pretty this would be I do have um, a scrap that I could put on this side just to decorate it, but I may just come back and decorate it anyway. So if you're using this as a floating pocket, you could just paper clip it to the page, um, but um, you could also use it and glue it down to the page, use it as a flip, um, glue that piece down as a pocket, as a pocket, um, but this, let's do a longer, a longer strip here so um, let's do one and I want to see where that ends up okay so I've got one let's do two okay that comes back up this way let's do three well I'm doing three but it would actually be six okay so and then that will fold back and we have a pocket here and we can take this we can score this one in half because that comes out I don't know what this scrap is a weird length so it comes out at two and a half so let's do one and a quarter and that will just take half of that so we've got like this okay so we've got pocket here, and we've got pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Um, you could even roll this back like this. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to attach this to a page on a U. And I mean, we could just put it like that. But I kind of like having two pockets. <coughs> Excuse me. The point of it is it's an accordion fold and it doesn't really matter. Um, you just kind of play with it. That one was eight and a half by four. The first one was four by five. This one is ten by five. So um, maybe I'll, you know, the more folds you have, the thicker the piece is going to be. So you want to keep that in mind. But let's do again one. I'm, and I'm randomly going to do this one, three, four, six, and seven. And let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to fold that up, fold that back, fold that up, fold that back, and fold that up. All right, so you can see now I have several pockets. Now you could fold the other way there's pockets on this side um, you can sew both along both edges sew all the way around whatever you want or you can just uh, glue them down 
you could wrap this around a page like that but um yeah this has this has some possibilities and i don't think i did that anything like corey's but see this one will fit on the page i because i'm not using double-sided paper i don't really like how that came out so i think i'm going to wrap it around where's the okay i'm going to wrap it around the page here Okay, so that's going to come in like that. I'm going to do this one a little lower than this. Hmm, I heard the noise like my camera was dying. All right, so let's, yeah, let's glue that strip on. And then we will glue all those other pieces down. Come on, there we go. A big blob. Here's something I'm noticing. Um, I never really noticed a difference between the Fabri Tac and the Beacon 3 in 1. And I don't know if I just have a weird batch of um, Fabri Tac or if this, <clears throat> excuse me, is the major difference. Is that. Um, the Fabri-Tac seems to dry more like hard plastic and the Beacon 3-in-1 seems to uh, be more um, flexible, like hot glue flexible. I, I could be wrong, but that's, that's what it seems like to me. Alright, so you saw how I did that. I put that piece on this side. Okay, I'll just put that down. Now we can put this back the way it goes and it's kind of not exactly straight so let's get our bone folder all right so i want to do a little glue here and yes my book is upside down but i want it to be near me okay i'm going to glue that piece down Okay, now I'm going to glue this piece down to that. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue on the other side. Okay, I'm not going to be using, well, I guess I could though. Yeah, let's go ahead. My glue came undone. Let me, let me fix that back. Make sure that's this is cardstock, so it takes a second for it to stick. Okay, now let's come back here and glue here and here and here and here. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that down for a second. And you know, if I wouldn't use my fingertips so much, it wouldn't have glue everywhere. But, you know, it's human nature. I'm going to rub this just a little bit longer. Okay. So, I think... I like the pockets on the side i'm going to glue this piece this way and that way i can put something in the top um if you don't want to do that you could just if, if this was double sided i would leave it as a flip maybe put something here that it could tuck underneath and use the pockets on the side but because i'm not using double sided paper i'm going to glue this down and i um, just put glue where I didn't want it. Let's see. Who caught me? Who said, Christy, don't put glue there? Okay, let's see. This is the, the part with the talking and doing and paying attention. I'm not so, I'm not so two in one. 
Okay. But you guys keep coming back, so I guess you don't mind that I'm a little ditz brain. Okay. Like that. Okay. I am going to adjust this, oops, just a tad so that it looks straighter than I actually made it. Like that. And I'll use my little bone folder to work it out. Nothing we can't fix. Okay. All right. So we have this one the same way and I um, let's see I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this one but let's glue this piece actually let's glue let's glue this piece completely down because I do probably do not want to use that as a flip all right and we'll use that as a pocket so glue that piece And I think I'm going to glue that right on there and maybe make it a little flip out. We can put something on this side if we want. Um, or should I do it this way? So that it's already... No, because that's white on that side. I'm going to do it this way. And then we can put a strip of something on there if we like. Okay. Did I do it wrong again? Yes, I did it wrong again. All right, let's, let's do it like this. Let's put this on the top edge of this page. Um, it's gonna come over this pocket, but that's okay. We can have it there to show that we can have a little secret spot here, okay? That can go on top. We can have this little pocket. I keep thinking that's a pocket, but it's not. That's where it goes up. So this can be a little decorative piece. We're, we can put something in this pocket. We can put stuff in this pocket, in this pocket. So, um, and then I have this other accordion piece that I didn't do anything with that we can totally put somewhere else. Um, we can fold it free form. The reason I like to use a scoreboard is because I go crooked a lot, but um, you could have a little miniature type piece like this and just tuck it away in a pocket. You could even stick stuff in there the way it is. If you've got it tucked in a pocket and you can still use it um, to put things in, especially if you're using the same picture or picture, the same paper, um, it looks like it belongs there. So now we've just added two more pockets to our original pocket. And then we have this piece as well that we can add. And I think I'm just going to glue that on there because I keep picking it up. And I don't know what it was from. It was attached to this pile that I had prepared. So I think I'm going to put it here. Just a little decorative piece. Okay. That flips up. And, yeah. Lots of possibilities with this. Um, well, I would love to see what you come up with. Um, but play with your paper scraps. And, you know, accordion fold them. There's, I mean, this could go across the whole page if you wanted it to. So, anyway, fun stuff. So, I guess that was number four. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Thanks for watching.